Um, as you all know, I have a two-year-old son um, that I love very much. And, you know, I try my best to be um, the best mom that I can be at all times. And I feel like um, as a single mother, I didn't choose to be a single mom. But here I am, you know, trying to be strong for him and trying to be um, the best example I can be. Um, and so I've just tried to really keep myself busy and um, but sometimes I just don't understand like when I will get a break from all the negativity as I said earlier I'll be feeling like the devil is just really on my back and I can't understand why I'm in the position that I'm in sometimes and I'm trying so hard to do better. You didn't look for it, go look for it. It's in the couch. couch. Yeah. So, sometimes I don't understand why I keep finding myself in um, negative spaces while I'm trying so hard to stay positive and upbeat. Up, up um, it's just really hard doing everything alone. Um, and it's really hard to stay strong and do what you need to do every day despite the hurdles and adversities that come to you. Um, so to know that the person that you have, or, you know, the person that you had a child with is doing what they want to do when they want to do it not taking any kind of responsibility for what's important which is your child um, is heartbreaking and the fact that they keep doing things to kind of get under your skin or remind you that you are alone is um, hard to remain positive and upbeat and I keep asking myself like I keep asking myself what did I do I keep asking myself what did I do to um, deserve parenthood alone and I hate to say that but it's hard being a single mom and for those of you who are you know I love my son to death, but um, it is hard, and I want to give him the best, but <clears throat> and I will give him the best, but sometimes I just need support, and um, I'm just upset, I guess, today, because I just feel like no matter what I do, that will always be something that bothers me or or holds me back from being the best that I can be um that is a soul tie that I cannot break um so it is what it is sometimes you have to face reality and realize that the cards that you are dealt you have to just play your best one you have to keep going um because you didn't have a choice in this and you can't force people to do things that they don't want to do and I have to keep reminding myself that I can't I can only be I can only be accountable for what Jasmine does and for what you know <clears throat> and for my actions I can't control other people so it's so important to me now um, that I make sure I am guarding who comes in my son's life because I know one day I will be blessed with the family that I so deserve but for now I will have to continue to do things on my own so accepting that has been hard for me um, but you know I'm only 22 years old I feel like I have a lot of learning to do um, and I know that it will get better and um, I just sometimes think that I need to disconnect myself from the outside that is associated with that person because I don't want to know what he's doing and I don't want to know 
Like, I don't want to know that he's doing well. That sounds horrible, but I don't. I don't want to know that he's doing well because you shouldn't be. Because you're not taking care of business and you're not taking care of your responsibilities. So I don't want to know that you're here and you're there and you're traveling and you're making all this money because I haven't seen any of it. And it's Christmas. So. Anyway. I just needed to vent and um, say that it is very important to me to take some time to myself to find my worth and just be a happier being. Um, and this is one of the reasons I have a child with someone that didn't hold me to that standard and still doesn't. So these are the consequences you raise your kid alone you love them to death but you do what you can do by yourself and just hope that everything turns out okay and that they love you in the end for it at the end of the day I know that my story will help somebody else because there are a lot of young single moms out there and know that you know, it does get hard, but it will get better. And your kid will love you for um, everything that you've done for them. And I know that when I get home from work, my son is excited to see me. Um, and I know that he loves me very much. And that to me means more than anything. I didn't sign up to be a single parent, but here I am. And I'm every day learning a new way to cope with it and a new way to uh, raise him more to be a, a successful human being and um that's all i can ask for is that sebastian is happy um at the end of the day so i don't wish anything bad um on anyone i just i just hope that one day i will be blessed with the opportunity to um experience a family that's all I just made that video earlier and so now that I'm in my feelings I decided to make another video so you've seen why another reason why I'm doing the cleanse but um, that's it guys uh, again thanks for watching um, and just listening to me vent again as I always say I'm starting to use YouTube as my platform for topics that I have trouble talking to other people with which is weird you have trouble talking about this with other people but you're posting it on YouTube but whatever um, I just hope my story and my testimony helps other people because I know I'm not the only one alone I know I'm not so yeah have a good night love you guys bye